Hello and welcome back to another video. This problem we're looking to find the equation of the tangent line to this curve at this point. So the first thing we want to do is we want to find the slope of the tangent line. We're going to do that using the derivative. So first, how are we going to find the derivative of this? We're going to put it into a form that we're more comfortable with finding the derivative of. So we're just rewriting this right here. We have y is equal to, and the fourth root of x is equivalent to x to the one fourth, right? In the same way that square root of x is x to the one half, right? Imagine imaginary two there, that's just your rule. Q root of x be x to the one third. Just remember that fourth root of x, therefore, is x to the one fourth minus. And then again, we're comfortable right now with using power functions and finding the derivatives of those. So you want to turn this into x to the one. Just can be a little bit easier. Therefore, our derivative is going to be coefficient of this term is one. So keep that out front times our exponent times one fourth with our new exponent being the old one, one fourth minus one minus over here. Our coefficient is one as well times our exponent is one times x to the old exponent minus one. So simplifying this one times one fourth is one fourth x to the one fourth minus one is one fourth minus four fourths getting a common denominator is equal to negative three fourths. So one fourth x to the negative three fourths minus one times one is one and then x to the one minus one is x to the zero. So this is minus one x to the zero, x to the zero is just one. Anything to the zero is just one. So this is just minus one times one is minus one. Now, this is something where we can find the derivative at any point by just plugging in our value of x. In this case, our value of x is one. So y prime of one is one fourth times one to the negative three fourths minus one. Simplifying this, we get one fourth. One to any power is just one minus one. It's one fourth minus one, which we already found is negative three fourths. Now, this is the slope of the tangent line at this point. We still have to find the y-intercept. Negative 3 fourths x plus b. Um, we have three variables in this equation, but luckily we know x and we know y. We can solve for b. So we know y is 0, so that is 0 is equal to negative 3 fourths x is 1 plus b. So 0 is equal to negative 3 fourths, since negative 3 fourths times 1 is just itself plus b, just rewriting this up here so we have room. We can add 3 fourths to both sides. These will cancel and get b is equal to 0 plus 3 fourths is just 3 fourths. So now we know m, we know b, and we have our final equation, y is equal to negative 3 fourths x plus 3 fourths. As always, thank you for liking and subscribing. I'll see you in the next video.